Hi everyone, it's Damaris. Um, today I wanted to share with you um, five layouts that I made for Christmas with a little twist. You've probably seen this before. I've seen it before. Um, but I've never done it before. And I'm really excited to show you what I did. And um, I'm a little sad because it's the last real set of projects that I'm doing for the year but I'm also excited because I'm giving myself the next week and a half off to do nothing but hang out you know finish my December daily and have fun you know I've worked so hard these last three months as far as crafting wise and keeping up with my blog and doing the you know the 25 days of Christmas and giving away presents and so much I've done that I really need a break so but before I go I wanted to show you what I made the last thing I made this year and um, these will be gifts I won't say for who in case they watch but they will be gifts this is my little tree these are one of those trees that you can find at um Michael's in a, in a bag full of like different sizes and I spray painted it green. Spray paint. I didn't spray paint. I sprayed it with uh, Mr. Huey's. Anyhow, let's get to it. So, the first one I did, I bought these 8x10. Let me go get the original. I bought these 8x10 canvas. Um, let me zoom out also. Packs. They come in three. And you can purchase these at Joanne. And you know Joann's always have their canvas on 40% off. Sometimes they go up to 50. So it's really nice texture. And they're super thin. And they're easy to work with. And they're 8x10. So they're not so big. So I decided that I would be altering them. But I would use a photo of Giovanni. A Christmas photo. Because I don't really do Christmas photos before Christmas. To give to family in a card. Like I haven't done it in a couple of years. But I still wanted to give them an updated picture of him and I wanted it to be Christmas related so I made this really cute layout on the canvas and let's bring it in a little bit so you can see the texture of that canvas. I painted this with a few different shades of green just to match the green bulbs in the photo and the green tree and then this collection that I used is by Making Memories. I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry. But um, I was inspired by a digital layout that a, a lady on Instagram shared. She does digital scrapbooking. And there was a layout that looked like that. And I just fell in love with it. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to take that inspiration and run with it. And I totally ran with it. So this is the first one I made. I made my own flower, this trim here. And this is the trim that I received in a rack from Sharon. So um, I think she'll be proud to know that I'm not hoarding anything. And then the buckles that I got on, on eBay. Um, these plastic snowflakes you can find at Michael's along with these clips. And then this is from the collection. I just die cut a few things. I punched this out from the collection. Here's a little charm cloth that I put some twine on. And then there's this velvet trim that I really love. I need to go get some more of that. This banner I die cut. Um, punched out the letters. And then here's a Tim Holtz ticket. And then this is a die cut also from the collection. I cut it out. And there's just a lot of bling all over and flowers and punched out pieces. So that's his photo. I was just messing around with, with my camera one day. Um hanging out in the living room and um because you could see we weren't ready because look at the shirt he's wearing it's not very Christmassy or dressy but I liked it I liked that we were just hanging out and I just started taking a few shots of him so I came back to my computer I edited I just added Christmas 2012 and that became this cute little canvas layout so that's the first one I made the second one I made is my favorite Oh my god, I love this one. I, it's going to be hard giving it away. So, um, this is what I made. And the texture is still there. I liked that it's like an off-white beige. So I mixed 
I mixed like a tan color with white and I also added some uh, Lindy's scintillating silver to that so there's a real nice sheen all over the canvas there and um, this is what it looks like again I used a lot of the paper from the making mermaids I punched this out here and then the tree also I stamped this tree back here this trio tree from a studio G stamp set a while ago it's very old it's the dollar stamps here's a little banner die cut um, this right here is a sticker that I it's a clear epoxy sticker that I put on top of one of the sheets from the collection and um, glued it to the back of this uh, plate there there's some snowflake stickers all around you can see and I added some flowers some bling this ruffle again that I made that flower from here's that trim added some twine I added this um, these little brads on either side and they go all the way behind as you can see so um, I could wrap the twine around it and it could look more like something's hanging from like a pedestal at a fireplace that's what I wanted it to look like and then here's a little metal piece from my stash I forgot where I got that and then to finish it off I added dots of pearls everywhere so that's my favorite favorite one and then I went a little bit more scrapbook layout style and I made this one I had a hard time with the red color I wanted the red to match um, basically all the products I was trying to use there's everything in here I got some I got some Jenny Bolin I got some um, pink paisley I got the making memories there's a lot going on here there's the, you know recollections going on and so I started out by painting it uh, two or three shades of red and then I inked up this corner uh, stamp which is this one right here I got um, over the summer it's called elegant corner and it is by Hampton art let's see if I could turn it for you it's Hampton art and so I also stamped it on the top over here with memento ink and then I did some stenciling as you can see there's a little stenciling behind there and then back here is stenciling um, added some of this uh, burlap piece here it's like raffia it's really rough texture um, distressed everything in on this layout distressed a lot distressed the photo itself which I actually printed it in white and black and white and then I just highlighted the bulb and this bulb is a Mickey bulb that we got at Target and that's our 2012 ornament because he loves Mickey this year got some flowers going on bling and then I added this banner here two pieces and then put flowers in between on the top here this wood um, Kaiser Craft flourish I don't know if you notice but you cannot use it you can't flip it over on this side I mean you can't use it this way normally because the 12 will be here but then the one will go one two three it'll go backwards so what I did was I split it right here I cut it with this my Timbal scissors so I could be able to use it facing this direction towards the left and then with the clock I just flipped it over so that the, the numbers will go in the right direction I added some um, patterned paper from the Making Memories collection some pearls finished it off with flowers and bling and so that becomes my third canvas layout as you can see my, th my fourth one is also red because my hubby he fell in love with the red so I did another red one but I go back to the original idea of the green this is my knockoff of my own green one as you can see very similar a little different though uh, made my own flower with some uh, trim added some green felt ruffle trim here added a little raffia this is the, the, the little pieces that came off from this those little strands that I pulled off I just made it into a bow over here hot glued the little clip on 
and then added this punched out circle. Um, die cut the banner in black, added some charms. Everything's basically the same. I added a tree in the background here, and you can't see it because I guess it blended, but I stained the red on red. I stained it in chevron. You cannot see it at all. Maybe, I don't know. You really can't see it. I think it faded, but I did manage to print on, not print, ink on the canvas itself after it was painted. I inked on this stamp. Let me go get it. It's right here. I don't want to knock anything over. This script stamp, I used it. And this is by Inka Dinka Do. There's no name. That is what it is. So I inked that up there, added the ticket, added a tree with a star, added the snowflakes and the bling, and here's a little, here's a little tiny, tiny little ticket right there that hangs from this charm. This is the only thing that moves. And um, with a little Tim Holtz pen that says tidbits, the clock. So everything's basically the same. It's the same layout, same concept on that one. And then the last one I did is in beige. Hubby wanted me to replicate the beige one, the one I'm in love with, but I kind of didn't want to do all the painting all over again. I wanted to really do something really super quick. So I first made a layout on this paper, and this paper comes from the Making Memories collection. I love it. It's very plain and basic. So I made this layout. has the number 12 on it already, which is awesome, because we are in the year 12. Um, and then I just cut up some strips of paper, different shapes at the end. This I did a little pennant, and this um, this I just rounded it off. Down here also, this I used, for this edge, I used my um, Stampin' Up, what's it called, Top Note Punch for this one. And then this I just fussy, you know, did by hand, and then here's a curved edge also. Used this gorgeous doily that I received in a rack from Yaya. Um... She sells this die, this doily die, but it's so big it won't fit in any of my die machines, so I haven't purchased it. But um, I needed it to be beige. And I don't know if you guys know where I can purchase, like, off-white to beige doilies, all sizes. I've only seen them in white, and I know we can spray them, but I really, I wanted it to be so fast, this layout. So I just picked my last gorgeous beige doily that I had and I distressed it with black soot. Over here I added a, an array of different flowers that I received. I received this one recently from my friend Laura who I met at tw on Twitter and you, can, you know her as a bunch of scrap on YouTube. And that's also her name on Twitter. She sent me some bling also which I used. Here's a little porcelain um, flower that I received from Sharon and just a lot of little things that I received from friends along the year and then this right here this joy is a it's right here this is by American Crafts and it is called Jingle and they sparkle they're very glittery I love it so I got those on Black Friday from um, your scrapbook supply Rhonda and so that's it that's this same photograph in black and white the same exact one except it's in color and now these are our new colors for our year for this year green red silver and white are our new colors for 2012 every couple of years we change it up so that is the last layout it's very simple very classic and yet they could I was thinking of hanging it up with like string from the top here but I kind of want it to look more artsy so we're gonna go purchase the stands that, that come down here and you could just sit it on your mantle or you, you could put it away and bring it out every Christmas or just leave it up all year long however you want so those are my five pieces of art and I'll show you again what they look like and I loved making those it was so fun. And it was pretty easy because it's an only an 8x10, you know. It's not so 
flat, like it's very dimensional. It's very 3D. You know, I used lots of different um, techniques. And also, it's an art piece, you know. You could display it and you'll have friends come over and say, wow, what is that? For people who really aren't into art, they don't know what scrapbooking is. It's a conversation piece. So, those are my five little layouts. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Stay safe. Please don't drink and drive. You know, be careful out there and, you know, have a great end of year. I will talk to you next year. I miss you guys. I'll be back with more videos next year. And I do read your comments and I appreciate all the comments you leave me. And um, I miss you. <laughs> all right. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful Christmas.